take quote of the day. Progress doesn't end when you're incapable. Progress ends when you're satisfied. Hold on to that for a second. Think about it. I repeat. Progress does not end when you're incapable. It ends when you're satisfied. It doesn't end when you, you know, people say, oh, I stopped making progress. I stopped growing. You know, I stopped, you know, getting smarter or whatever. You know, let's, let's talk about fitness. People say, I stopped, um, I stopped building muscle. Whatever it is, whatever your, your journey is in life, people say, I stopped because I don't know, you know, maybe it's not working. Oh, no, no. Or maybe I'm not capable of going further. No. Your progress stock was you, you were satisfied. Satisfaction is the enemy of all progress, to my knowledge. That's what I believe. Because when you satisfy with something, you know, first you're hungry. You're desperate for something. You get it. Once you get it, you you know, we all know you lean back, you sit back in your chair, kick your feet up, and you relax. And that's where danger comes in. Because um the moment you sit back and you you know you you enjoy yesterday's victories, you do not have enough ambition and hunger and anger. To, ima to plan the victories of tomorrow. You know, you have no, you have nothing pushing you to look forward, you know. You have no vision because you're like, hey man. Sorry guys, I had to stop police again. This time is actually an accident, so it's not me. But yeah, um, the moment you're satisfied with what you already have, with your results, you lose that hunger, that passion, you know, to, to go to, you know, to go harder. And that's the reason why your progress stops. You know, a lot of people wonder, well, I'm, I, I reached a plateau in my bodybuilding goals or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm not growing anymore. It's not because, you know, yes, obviously, you, people are going to reach plateaus and stuff like that. But the reason why you stop growing is not because your, your genetics stop you from, from getting bigger or whatever or your or whatever. It's because your hunger, your passion went down. You became satisfied with the initial gains. We all, it happened to all of us. I call it a quitting phase. That's when you start working out. You say you want a big chest. You start going ham in the gym. You start hitting your chest every fucking day. And the moment you start seeing results, what happens? Maybe the first week, you know, you go a little harder because you're happy. But then shortly after that, when you get all these compliments from people, you begin to skip a day, then two days, then three days. You begin to do three sets instead of four. You begin to do 135 instead of 150. You begin to, like, lay back because you're like, hey, I got results. And sooner or later, what happens? You shrink, you get smaller, and you blame it on your genetics. No. Same thing. It applies to every aspect of, um, of life, not just bodybuilding. Whenever you become satisfied with your current location in life, you know, with your current state, with your current level, you stop, you stop increasing, you stop making progress. So you gotta have that mind, so you gotta have a rival, you gotta have that mindset that, you know, everyone is your rival, that every great person that exists is your enemy, is your nemesis. You have to create your own enemies just to be able to push you further, this way you will never be satisfied. If I, if I, if I pick a person that's bigger than me, my goal is to become bigger than them. Once I beat that person, I don't sit back and be like, yeah, yeah, no. I look for another person that's bigger than me and I make them my rival, my nemesis. This way I'm never ever satisfied. Remember guys, never become satisfied because that is when progress will die and decay. Megan, over and out.